Cultists and word bearers go together like, well, skulls and blood. The sons of Lorgar are well known to employ hordes of chanting underlings that help to establish chaotic insurgencies on Imperial worlds. More importantly though, they are used en masse as cheap, plentiful cannon fodder to help deplete their enemy's ammunition before the big guys get stuck in. In this video, I will be showing you the steps I used to build this particular word bearer cultist, whilst giving you some tips on how you can build your own. The basis of this conversion will be the ragged and tattered Cordor Gang. This kit is the perfect set for anyone looking to raise a force of cultists. Not only do they have all the basic weapon options used by cultists, they look good and are reasonably priced for a box of 10, making them a good way to build up an interesting looking horde. So from this kit, you will need to grab yourself the torso, legs and arms. You can assemble the torso and legs for now, but leave the arms separate for the time being, as we don't want to get these in the way as we're trying to add on the conversions. Cultists have always had a thing for pointy hats. Maybe it's because they make them look evil and demonic, or maybe they're just all really self-conscious about their height. Either way, it's an iconic look and something we'll be adding to our word bearer cultist. The head that I've selected for this task was taken from the Shadow Warriors kit. However, before we can use it, we need to make a few adjustments. The first of these involves using a knife or a file to remove the symbol present on the forehead. As you're removing this, try to keep the shape of the helmet intact and ensure that the center ridge line isn't also smoothed out. Once this has been complete, you'll be left with an imposing looking helmet. With the helmet or hood prepped, we can now add it to the neck of our cord or torso. However, we have a slight problem here, the lack of a neck. As the cord or kit uses a ball and socket system for their heads, we don't have anywhere stable to glue our head to. So, we need to get a little creative. Start by clipping off a small tab of plastic from a sprue and trim it down so that it's small enough to fit into the small dip in the cord or torso's neck. You're looking to create a small raised platform that the head can be glued onto, essentially creating a simple neck. Once you're happy with the size, you can then glue the tab into the neck joint before gluing the head on top of this. We can hardly call our cultist a word bearer if he has no words in which to bear. Therefore, we need to furnish him with some. A good source of writing material can be found in the Plague Monks kit from Skaven. These pennants that you see here mimic those of the Dark Apostle and so fit perfectly in with the theme they were trying to create. For the most part, these pennants can be glued straight to your cultist, but you may need to trim the top part of them in order to create a less bulky contact point. Again, use a knife or file for this, whatever your personal preference is. If the pennants require a little bending to create a better fit, you can also use a heat source like a hairdryer to warm the plastic and to make it a little more pliable. Then you can very carefully bend the pennant into the desired shape. Once you are happy with the pennant's shape and fit, you can bring in your glue and fix them to your cultist. However, due to their length, I find that the best places for them are around the shoulders, chest and arms. However, when you're doing this, do keep in mind where you're going to place your weapons. You don't want to place the pennants anywhere, they'll prevent you from adding your arms later on. Another great kit to source cultist themed components from is the Flagellants kit from Age of Sigmar. There are tons of cool scrolls, books, skulls, chains, heads and more that are great for cultists. The two items I've chosen for this particular conversion are this banner and these barrels. The banner can simply be glued straight to the word bearer cultist and requires no additional work to do so. However, the various roped or chained items like these bells here may need to have the prongs opened up just a little in order to fit around some of the contact points like the weapon shaft that I've done here. Once these are added, the only thing left to do is to add a base and a little paint. And you should be left with something like this. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and now you know some tips to create some fairly simple conversions that result in some recognizable word bearer cultists. While conversions will almost always require extra cost and effort, I hope that the guide here will allow you to create your cultists without the need for too much extra cost or time to make. 
So if you have enjoyed this Chaos Cultist conversion, then be sure to check out my previous guides where I have already tackled the Empress Children, Iron Warriors and Death Guard. Also, be sure to let me know which Legion or God-specific cultists you'd like to see me try out next. If you're looking to recreate this conversion, then you'll probably want to buy yourself the individual extra parts from Bits Resellers rather than buying full kits for them. I'd personally recommend Bitsbox as I've used them in numerous conversions and they're good friends of this channel. For your house quarter kits, however, then check out Firestorm Games using my affiliates link in the description below. They offer discounts on Games Workshop products and pretty much any other products as well and ship worldwide and that's free shipping on orders over £40 as well. So in addition to all that, anything you buy after using that link in my description will send a little bit of money my way which I could put directly into making more of these conversion videos. Now finally, let me say a huge thank you to everyone who continues to support me on Patreon. Your help with making the cost of making these videos is just amazing and if you'd like to lend me a hand too i've included my patreon page in the description below where you can donate to me from as little as a dollar a month and be sure to check out my discord channel there's a link to that in the description as well if you'd like to chat with other like-minded people so the only thing left to say is thanks for watching and goodbye